DeWalt. Those are not both 18s. Well, cause see, I was looking at this going, <laughs> this looks a lot more like a 16. It is. Those morons, they're both 16s. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, my Stanley set had two 10 millimeters instead of a 3 8 and a 10 mil. Uh, but this act, it says 18 right on it. Well, I had one that said 3 8 and one that said 10. Because I was doing this and I'm like, that's, oh, that's the wrong one. And I grabbed it out, it was 18. I was like, oh, that's weird, it doesn't fit. Then I went over and got this one and I was like, no, it totally fits. It says 18 on it. That's the best part of the whole thing. It doesn't even fit in the 18. No, it's way too small. Way too small. Good. I can get that out. Um, We're going to need a uh, big boy. 16, 17 maybe? Guess what? It'll work. What the fuck? What was that about? Oh, it's not going to be the back one. I can tell you how much right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need a ratchet, unfortunately. Wait, what pulley? That one you just took the belt off of? Is that one that's leaking from? Uh, maybe? You took that pulley off, and then I think it's that one right behind it. Maybe it's that one. That's definitely enough for a while. So, about <laughs> that. Should have broke it loose with the belt on? Yeah. There is. Let me get a flathead. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It's not gonna. It's not gonna let me do it like that. And the impact, I don't think, will fit in here. Um. So it didn't make it through. It's right there. Oh, watch your head. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. It just wants to spin the whole freaking. Oh, got it. Yeah, I guess it's a water pump. I don't know. That's definitely leaking from the bottom of it. Oof. Well, we're about to leak some more water. Uh, I don't know, but I'd hurry up. Yep, and transmission fluid. That's definitely the water pump. I don't know. Here, bolt. Might just be a bad seal in the bearing. 
Because it was definitely leaking from back here. <laughs> or the seal was just shit. I said the gaskets look like this. Well, here's the gasket. Well, there's two gaskets on there. Are there? Yeah. Or is that just some of the gasket left on there? No, it's the rubber gasket. It's like there's two gaskets on there. That's that's the whole thickness of another gasket. Or is this just the metal part, and that's the paper part? I think this is the paper part. This is the metal part. So it's separated. I think that is exactly where our problem is. No, there's no play in the pump either. Not really, no. Our TV is sticking back on. The problem is, you can see it's been leaking right here from the output yeah. shaft. So the pump is bad. It was slinging stuff. It's definitely all over underneath there. Yeah. Found left rear hub failed. Which is weird because it definitely didn't sound like the left rear hub when I drove it. Hey, um, this tire didn't want to come off. What is up with this lately? All these damn tires not want to come off these damn cars. Does this happen multiple times? Yeah. The Subaru tires didn't want to come off of it. Ricky's truck tires didn't want to come off of it. Well, I'm to the point now where I'm like, I don't want to hit it too hard and freaking. Can we get this tire off? My 3 jaw core on the rim on the blazer, they were rusted to the hub. Oh man. Oh, it's on there. Yeah, there's a lot of in there. Road salt. It's weird because they said the hub's bad over here. For a tire that doesn't look like it's been off anytime soon, I don't know how this hub's bad. Oh, Is the sensor failed? Well, if you ran a scan test, that's the only way you would tell that way. Is if the sensor was Which would explain why the tire's never been off. <laughs> yeah, that would have been just the sensor failed, which would be why the ABS and stability control is not working. Can we get the freaking sensor off of there? Yeah, the magnet around it, it senses it all the way around. It's got half of it. Yeah, it's solid. That is some ho shit. Cause there's nothing wrong with that hub other than that. Yeah. Whatever. <sighs> the star to take the sky off and the brake off. And it looks like it's four bolts on the back side. You like that? <laughs> All right, what size are those? People. That's awesome now. Okay. I don't know if a slide hammer's gonna do it. Cause how are you gonna get the slide hammer to my teeth aren't long enough to go in there all the way? You have the outside job? This thing's beat up. I think we're gonna need to go run a new one of these from our uh, auto zone and take this gem back. Three of them. No, no is there not three of them? Well, that's, that's not gonna work either. See, I tried offsetting it, and it had two inside hooking and one out here hooking. That didn't work either. Um, but I didn't try it with the hooks on the outside. It kept slipping off, but there's not yeah, much there's to not grab, much to grab there. That's what I was worried about. But it might be able Problem to is slip you can't, one. You're not going to be able to uh, do that because the way it's set up, it won't let you. I mean, hell, even 
like this, it's not gonna let you do it. The only other idea I have would be to use the two gel on it. Go three gel all the way through. Which it won't, it doesn't go deep enough to go all the way through. <coughs> um, so I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna work. I'd heat it, but there's a sensor in there. Yeah, there's a sensor instantly. I really don't want to get a new sensor for it. And even pressing it out isn't really an option. Because there's nowhere to get behind it to press it. Hubs are always such a pain in the ass. Taking this off so we could uh, put it in the press. Yeah, well, it goes on top of the cradle. That's the last one I'm on. I tried hitting it with like a chisel to just break the stupid tab off. So you so. can't get it undone? Yeah, I can't get it from there. Oh, I tried breaking the little zip tie clip. I can't even get it to break. There's not enough room for me to get to it. So I tried a new approach. Okay. This is a hard approach. So we do not get a metal fill um fill um seal with this one, the new one. All right, well, you should come back to me. You can see the new water pump we put in. It's right there, shiny. All right, so uh, we got to prop it up somehow. How are we gonna do that? Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do that. The hub's bigger than the hole. Well, it's bending the shit out of that. I don't want to see it actually doing anything. Or, that's not work. Um, yeah, but I think we I think we stop playing with the little torch and put the big boy on it. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Or I'll just hit it with my hands. It's probably been up there a while. Huh? It's probably been there a while. I don't know either. Alright, we just got to the wheel of that and get some fluid in it. Uh, Alright, so that's my friend's Buick. Uh, she took it to the dealership because it was making a funny noise in the front end of the car and uh, basically they hooked it up to a computer and uh, looked in the uh, engine bay and basically said it, it's leaking, it needs a new water pump and you need a new rear hub and that's all you need. Um, so we got it in the air and it did need a new water pump so we got that all swapped out for her which wasn't too bad of a deal. And then that rear hub was a disaster, it did not want to come out of there, the press wasn't working for it, the slide hammer didn't work for it, finally just good old brute force and the vice finally got it out. But we got all that put back together and then we investigated what the noise was in the front. We did find it. You'll see that next week's episode because it's <laughs> it's terrible. I can't believe they couldn't have couldn't have taken it for a freaking test drive and missed that. Uh, I just, I don't get it. I think they hooked it up to a computer, took a quick look at it and said, yep, this is the problem. And said it was going to be a ton of money. And then they wouldn't even have actually fixed what was actually wrong with the car. But 
Like I said, tune in next week. We're going to get uh, to the bottom of what the real problem is with that and get that all solved for and get it back on the road. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Tell me what you want to see more of, that type of stuff. We really appreciate the comments and the constructive criticism and stuff like that. It really helps us make a better product for you guys. But hit that like and subscribe button for me, and uh, we'll check you out on the next one.